Face piece test. First, don and adjust the face piece. Block the air click opening with the palm of your hand and inhale gently. The face piece should collapse slightly and hold for a few seconds without leaking. Exhale with the air click opening covered. The exhalation valve must not stick. Leak test. Push the shutoff button on the second stage regulator to stop the flow of air. Open the cylinder valve to fully pressurize the regulators. Close the cylinder valve. Observe the gauge for 15 seconds. Significant needle movement indicates a leak and the SCBA should not be used. Audible alarm test. Open the cylinder valve to fully pressurize the SCBA. Close the cylinder valve. Press the shutoff button on the second stage regulator to stop the flow. Slightly open and close the bypass valve to stop the gauge pointer at each quarter mark for two seconds. Continue to open and close until the pointer moves slowly to the one quarter full mark. The audible alarm should begin when the gauge reaches approximately one quarter full. When the audible alarm begins, close the bypass valve. The alarm should continue until the air is almost depleted. Bleed all residual air and close the bypass valve. Heads-up display. Open the cylinder valve to fully pressurize the SCBA. Close the cylinder valve. Press the shutoff button on the second stage regulator to stop the flow. Slightly open and close the bypass valve to stop the LED display at each one quarter mark for five seconds. Continue to open and close the bypass valve slowly until the HUD display reads one half full. Verify that the 50% warning is working correctly. The green LED representing one half cylinder pressure should blink on and off for approximately 20 seconds, then stay lit continuously. Continue to open and close the bypass valve slowly until the HUD display reads one quarter full. The audible and visual alarm should begin when the display reaches approximately one quarter full. Activation of the flashing red LED visual alarm display may or may not coincide perfectly with the audible alarm on the SCBA. Close the bypass valve when the audible alarm begins. Both alarms should continue until the air is almost depleted. Bleed all residual air and close the bypass valve. SCBA function test. Attach the CGA hand wheel to a fully charged cylinder. Close the second stage regulator bypass valve and press the shutoff button. Slowly open the cylinder valve. Check that the cylinder valve gauge and gauge alarm both read in the green zone. Attach the second stage regulator to the face piece and inhale. The regulator should deliver an acceptable flow of air without excessive effort, free flow, or fluttering. Slowly open the bypass valve. A steady flow of air should enter the face piece. Press the shutoff button. Air flow should stop. Push the override button. A small burst of air should enter the face piece and the regulator should activate. Close the cylinder valve and bleed all residual air. 